my Tony Oliva autograph baseball. I made a little stand for it, but that's kind of boring. So I had another idea, and that was to take a block of inch and three quarter stock and make four fingers that would hold that. Then I could take that and cut it off and mount it to that block that I have there and use that uh, thing as a base. And then I've got another idea I want to do and that's to uh, let me show you this part right here. So, so the four fingers basically would hold the ball like, like this. And then I want to cut a saw kerf in the front of this to mount the ticket that I used that day so I can remember the day without any problem. And have that just sitting there like that, you know. So that's what I got going here. See that I've got this block mounted up to my box cutting jig that I made a little while back. I've got some videos on that. You can see blades tilted to 20 degrees. I'm just going to make a series of cuts. The thing is I'm, I'm not so sure about uh, how deep I want to go. Um, but, but we'll see. I don't want that piece getting bound up between the blade and the, uh, and the uh, upright piece. So I don't want to cut all the way through. So my first cut I'm just going to take and measure basically the height of my blade. Um, I think they come to a, a point at about an inch and a half. So we'll see where I'm at. And I know my blade's not that high right now, but let's just see what happens here. dangerous right there. All right, I want to, uh, I'm not so sure I want to break these out just yet. Well, yeah, I guess they will. There we go. I think I can then finish this off now and not have to worry about uh, anything getting bound up. So now you get the idea of what I was shooting for here. So this will just sit on this like this now. It's not really in the picture, but something like that. So I think that's a much better presentation of what uh, we got going on here. And there's there's no chance, well I shouldn't say no chance, but there's less chance of it falling out of this type of a setup. So I'm gonna I'm going to uh, I'm gonna run the risk here of taking one of these and cutting that uh, this down tighter 
And then what the other thing that I'm going to end up doing here is, uh, you know, rough, uh, flattening these out a little bit right here so there's not a sharp point holding up that, you know, um, you know, putting a dent in the ball, I guess. So these will get flattened a little bit right here. So let me readjust. I guess I'll just start with this one. I'm going to raise the blade up a little bit more. And um, the thing is, you don't want to go too far and overcut it either. So this is the part where you got to take it nice and slow. I decided to hit it with just this, uh, basically a, a file. And it, it just took a couple of strokes and you can, I can eyeball them and see that they're all very close. And now I really like the way that sits in there. That's going to be beautiful right there. So I'm going to sand off these sharp edges here, round over everything, just take the sharpness out of it.